Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. So we are still on 69.25.1 But uh, right now we've got uh, a lot of snow coming down and it's been snowing over the night maybe for a few hours and I think we have like around I think two inches or closer to three maybe of snow so I'm really excited to see how FSD beta is going to do with this um, okay, so if you've been watching my channel, I do bump down my speed a lot for snow for snow conditions. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, I've, okay, so here we go. We've got 10 minus 10 kilometers an hour. I think that's good enough for this kind of condition. So yeah, uh, if you guys haven't followed me yet, uh, please do on YouTube. Whoa, we're getting a little bit too close to that car over there. Okay, let's go ahead and bump this down another five or four kilometers, let's say. Okay, I'm going to full screen this. Uh, if you haven't followed me yet on YouTube, please do. My subscribers is around a thousand subscribers right now. I'm gonna give it a push over here just a bit so it does tend to get confused on this road a lot because of the lane markings um, Not really the lane markings. sorry. I mean the uh, the way the snow kind of uh, I'm gonna give it a push over here. So there is a car behind me that is Annoying me over here. So I'm going to just take over for this turn All right, let's see how it does this turn. Yeah, so FSD beta is not really ready for snow yet, but uh, we kind of like throughout, like, and you can see this intersection over here is clearly just covered with um, obstacles because of the snow and the way the snow was uh, uh, cutting through this. Yeah, I'm getting too close to that, to that uh, edge over there. Huh, okay. All right, so it takes the, the right turning lane over here. Should slow down here. Okay, we're slowing down. I like the slow down over here. It's not too bad. A little bit too fast on the acceleration here. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bump it down just a little bit more. So let's do 18 kilometers an hour. I really wish it doesn't take that, uh, it doesn't really accelerate that much on a turn. Getting a bit close to the curb over here. There's a guy there's, or a person um, kind of uh, snow blowing their sidewalk. Okay, this is okay. I'm gonna hit the defrost so that we don't get windshield issues. Apologies about all the... Oh, and it's getting like adamant to get over that snow bank over there. Okay, and we should be doing this turn close by, or I think we are supposed to reach our destination here. Let's try and... Uh... I'm gonna go for. I don't know if I can. Uh, here we go. I did trip. Let's skip this one and let's go to the next one that I've got over here. Should take this turn, but I think it's gonna miss it. Ooh, actually, here we go. Gets it right in time. Let's see how it does this left turn over here. I always had issues with this during snow. Um, especially along with the positioning as well on on the lane or the placement here kind of tends to yeah take this right turn here for some reason or this light right right position yeah okay i'll take it since it's snowing really there's rules get a little bit muddy on uh, placement so we're not gonna really piss off a lot of people so we've got the green light And yeah, does this turn a little bit more calm? 
adjust the steering wheel as it notices it's sliding a little bit or fishtailing a little bit. Gets a little bit too close to the curb here. Really wants to hug this curb, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take it off from here. Hopefully it'll adjust itself. Wants to change lanes here. It does this regardless of snow conditions or not. It's just uh, I think map data issue. I'm trying to exit the uh, or get out of the exit lane basically. Well, here we are. There's not much traffic right now because it's early in the morning on a Sunday. I also do need to change my pedal and steering to standard, or sorry, my uh, acceleration to chill. We've got the green light. I'm gonna give it a push here. Unfortunately, it didn't start driving. I'm getting too close again to the curb. Yeah, it really wants to hug the curb here. Here we go. Yeah. A little bit too aggressive on this uh, lane change. We've got the flashing green. Alright, this is doing it really well. It, it didn't really step on it, so I'm really glad. It's probably because well, I um, modified the speed limit. Uh, why do you want to turn here? Get out of here. Come on, get out of here. Yeah, there we go. Fixes itself. So I think in uh, clear conditions, this is kind of like a four lane road. It tends to do pretty okay with uh, snowy conditions on this road. I'm just very like cautious and ready to take over at any time because I've seen things driving in snow conditions. <laughs> That's why I'm always hugging the steering wheel. Don't have uh, full confidence here. So far, I don't feel like there's much um, improvements really since like the last snowfall that we got. Um, I've certainly seen more takeovers driving now. Let's see if uh, flipping it to a chill mode and uh, bumping down the speed even more. Hopefully that will make things a little bit better. That's doing this really nice. Like uh, it's not, it's not going um, from one side to another. It's not driving on the opposite driving lane like it did in my uh, closer to my area. And I really like to take uh, take the car on this route here uh, whenever it snows because not a lot of traffic comes through here. Let me see if I routed this. Well, okay, it's routed. Oh yeah, so we're stopping here. Okay. Here we go. So I like how when there are parked cars, it kind of defines the limits of the road a bit better than the usual. Look at this, like I don't even see. All right, here we go. There is a mistake. All right. Okay. So this is kind of like a narrow neighborhood or n narrow street over here. We've got a car coming up in front of us. It'll be interesting to see how it deals with that. Let's give the windshield a little bit of a wipe. A person turns in and parks. So we're not gonna be able to see that situation. <clears throat> Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, we can see the visualization person coming out of the car. Door opening and closing, walking up to his house. So far, so good. Hugs the. You know what? It, the, it's did this turn very nicely. I was thinking it might be a little bit too close to the sidewalk, but it's actually not bad at all. And here we have a car coming up on our left. Really widens up for it. <laughs> really widens up for it. All right, let's put our next destination over here. Okay, let's try this. So again, we knocked off our speed limit maybe by uh, 14 or 15 kilometers an hour. I can post that in miles if you guys want on the uh, on a video here. And there you go, autonomous driving in, in snow conditions. How crazy is that? Eighteen kilometers an hour reduced by eighteen kilometers an hour, and we're in chill mode. I don't think chill mode or standard really makes a difference. Well, really widening up here for this turn, and yeah, we're not yielding actually for this yield, so I'm gonna stop it. That was a safety critical disengagement there. It is possible maybe if it is below a certain threshold of speed limit that uh, it uh, acts a little bit different than the usual. Just going to boost it up a little bit more here. It's telling me now that full self-driving may be degraded. I don't think it actually means um, like FSD better. I think it it uh, might be because might be talking about the autopilot. So we've got a it's a relatively quiet street. There is a median on the street that it kind of posts sometimes. We are going ahead straight on, so it's not. It's not really going to go through any issues with this turn. It's really dealing with this with the heavy snow hitting the windshield in an absolutely legend way. It's not really reacting with the wipers, I have to say. Uh, it's getting too close. We are technically on the pavement right now, so All right, let's see how it does this. Don't get too close to the, to the Pavement here, okay Legend, okay, very good. Oh, we're winding up a little bit too much here. We're technically now on the On the other side of the lane so it should really position itself a little bit better. Okay, so it fixes itself once it notices that car is coming. So it's gonna wait for that car to come and pass by. And here we go. And a nice slow commit <laughs> for this turn. <laughs> Partly because of us lowering this, the, the autopilot speed a little bit too much, I think. I'm gonna bump it up a little bit more, so let's say couple of kilometers an hour let's see if minus 16 kilometers an hour is this is the sweet spot over here again it's hugging the the pathway a little bit too much for my liking okay got a nice commit 
I'm gonna clear the windshield here. It's only minus one degree out there. It's not really very cold. So that could be partly why our windshield wiper is doing great in these conditions. Normally when it gets a little bit too icy, it kind of freaks out and then it ruins the whole full self-driving experience. But this is, this is really good, really nice. Right now I'm starting to feel the regaining the confidence back with FSD driving in snow. As you've seen, like from the beginning of the drive, it was a little bit of a rocky, rocky situation. All right, we don't need to do this uh, stop over here. Okay, and we've reached our destination. I don't know if this is a turn over here. No, probably not. So I'm gonna have to loop around, and I'll uh, I'll set us up for another waypoint. Stay tuned. <laughs> 